Hey there. What's up guys? It's the Vape Guy. Today I got a special topic to talk about. Something that really hits hard for everybody. Whether you're vaping or you're just getting into it or thinking about it. You know, it can be a scary thing getting into because there's a lot of things going on. A lot of things you hear on the news. Uh, you know, conspiracy. You know, doctors will tell you it's bad or whatever. And that's really what we're going to talk about today. I seen a video a guy posted. Uh, this week I, I watched it, I don't know when he had posted it, but uh, he was talking about the news was saying that it had antifreeze in it, and he was trying to explain, you know, really what was going on. He never did mention what I'm about to mention, but he was, you know, along those lines, and I could understand what he was saying, you know, and it really wanted, uh, it really made me want to uh, do this, this short video and try to break it down so you can like share and and subscribe you know but uh definitely share this video because everybody needs to know it is a scary thing you know there's this nutrient and it's e6 you got the battery you got the tank and you got the juice and the juice is the main component this is what holds the liquid with the uh the nicotine the flavor and this is what really simulates the cigarette you got propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, your flavoring, and your nicotine, and that's the components that go in. Now the news is trying to say that it has antifreeze in it. Right off the bat, it does have a component that is an antifreeze, but it's safe. It's propylene glycol. Propylene glycol has been around, studied since the 50s. Uh, it's used in breathing treatments for kids and adults, has been for a long time. It's 100% safe, um, strengthens your lungs, helps. Um, helps the lung capacity. It can actually prevent you from getting sick as easily. Uh, just a very safe um, substance. So the reason they say that on the news that it has antifreeze in it, it's a big scare. It is to scare you. Of course they're going to make it drastic. Um, you know, it does not contain antifreeze. It contains propylene glycol, which is in antifreeze. A uh, while back, antifreeze didn't have the propylene glycol. It had a propylene uh, substance in it that would make dogs sick when they licked it up. You know, get spilled, or the neighbor would come over because he hated that dog. You put it in the dog bowl, the dog would die. So what they done is put propylene glycol in it, and it still has that that slight sweetness to a dog, so they're attracted to it. You know, but if the case was it was spilt, the dog licked it up, or the neighbor tried that uh, old trick on the dog, it would just make them sick and it's less likely to kill them. So hopefully that will enlighten you and open your eyes and say, wow, okay, I didn't know that. That is uh, that is a true fact about the antifreeze. And that's why they're trying to say that this stuff has antifreeze in it. It has propylene glycol in it, okay? It doesn't have antifreeze in it this is safe. The propylene glycol by itself 100% safe, okay? Maybe doctors, lung doctors, cancer doctors um, tell you it's bad and a lot of them will, most of them will. Um, the reason why it's a big money pit, it's a game. Um, you know, the power of the dollar is big because we all have to have it. It's uh, one of the most important things there is because you gotta have it to live. Uh, you got to have it to keep your lights on, your house payment, car, you know, food, everything. The money is where it's at. And if you cut out the cigarettes, you're cutting a big percentage of those people going to the doctor for lung problems and things like that. And that cuts a big portion of the doctor's money out of the question. They don't get paid as much because there's not as many people coming in. And of course they're going to tell you that. It's common sense, people. So do your research. You know, look online, Google this stuff, do your research, and really see what's going on. Break it down and get to uh, the bottom of it. Don't just take somebody's word for it. Don't take the news word for it or the doctor. Actually research this stuff and see what's going on. Because I know it's a scary thing. It's new, a uh, new trend that's happening. And it's a safer alternative to cigarettes, I can say, from a perspective you know, vaping for a year uh, or so, knowing how much better you feel and you can breathe healthy is is just 100% uh, better 
than smoking a cigarette. Even if this had something bad in it that still could cause cancer, this doesn't have nearly as many um, products that goes into it chemical wise and car carcinogens that goes into this is cigarettes. Cigarettes are guaranteed to give you lung problems. If you smoke, you're guaranteed to have lung disease, lung problems, and more than likely you'll get cancer. Cancer is everywhere. It's in your food, it's in the air, you know, wherever you go, you're going to be exposed to it in some way because everything, it seems like nowadays, causes cancer. So it's not just smoking. They try to blame it on smoking, but that's not the problem. And that's the problem for lung problems. This right here can really help you. This, uh, this steps up the game, man. This really puts a whole new perspective on smoking because it's vaping now and it's a lot safer. You feel and breathe a lot better. So like I said, don't listen to them boneheads trying to tell you that it has antifreeze, it has all these chemicals because they're wrong. If you want to know what uh, goes into the juices, I've got another topic on my channel that you can go watch and I kind of break down uh, the PG, VG, the nicotine and the, uh, the flavorings and you know everything is on key point you can do your research on your own if you'd like I'd like you to like share and subscribe but don't forget to share because people need to know you know it's a scary thing definitely when you hear it on the news or the doctors trying to tell you think about it when the doctors try to tell you something uh, bad about this stuff it's more than likely because it's a money pit this is gonna cost them a lot of money the cigarettes are making them a lot of money because you're having to visit the doctor. All right? And the news just makes it, blows it way out of proportion, makes it a lot worse than it really is. So, I hope that helps you. I hope that kind of enlightens your mind and shows you really what's going on with the e-cigs. Some more reviews to come, guys. And uh, I'm going to be doing some juices, some uh, mods and things like that. And I am getting um, a Panzer on the way. We'll be doing a review on. So a uh, little, little sneak peek there. The Panzer will be getting a review done on it here soon. So stick with us. I hope that helped you out. I hope that kind of enlightens you. Just don't forget to do your research. Anytime you hear anything on the news or the doctors tell you, go home, Google it, research it. Do your homework and see what's going on. If you have any questions, if you don't have time to do none of that mess, if you have any questions, just comment. Let me know what you want me to uh, talk about. Let me know what you want to do a review on. And uh, just let me know down in that drop box down there. Comment, and uh, I'll try to get it up for you as soon as possible, all right? That's all I've got for today. Happy vaping.